That is the most grotesque thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Next to the most adorable thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? LD Shiloh here and welcome to a brand new Minecraft series on my channel, Funcraft! So as you can see behind me here, we already have a bunch of cool players, some familiar faces that you might recognize. We've got Joey, Kyle, CPK, Yami, Joel, Scott, me, and of course Ollie. And we will be adding more players very soon. But for now, I am one of the first people in this brand new world. So we are using a mod pack that I've put together called Funcraft. It has a load of awesome mods in it, but also some mods that I have made with the help of my friend Paul. So this should be pretty interesting. Before we do anything, let's press the daylight button, get me some daylight up in here, and then let's pick a random direction to explore. I have a feeling that every new player that comes from spawn is going to head in this direction because of the chicken over here. This is actually a chicken dungeon from one of my mods, which is why I will not be venturing down there today. I happen to know that it's very dangerous. Despite the fact that it sounds like chickens, they are dangerous. Okay, just trust me on this one. So I'm gonna avoid the chicken dungeon and just go right past it. <gasps> what do we have here? We've got the mystical goat and some kind of deer creature. One day I wanna tame a mystical goat and ride it around. How adorable would that be? Although I'm not sure I can fit. I might be a bit too big to ride a goat, but that won't stop me trying. Okay, so my main mission for today is to find a nice biome to build in. Oh my gosh, it's an adorable little boo. Next to some kind of horrific spider thing. Oh, it's got googly eyes. <gasps> that is the most grotesque thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. Next to the most adorable thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. That is so gross. I don't want to touch it. Oh my gosh. It moved towards me. No, thank you. Let's get out of here. I would like to take you with me. I'll be back. I'll be back for you, boo. I probably should have marked spawn on my mini-map. I have literally no idea where I'm going now. Oh well, I'll just be teleported back there when I eventually die. Oh, different colored chickens. Hello. What do they drop? Why does this one have funky eyes? Are you okay? I'm sorry, you are a sacrifice for knowledge. <gasps> okay, just dropped chicken. That's a shame. I feel bad now. But now I can become the chicken. <gasps> and I have the googly eyes. Life as a chicken is great. Look at me just speeding through the grass. Wait, I only have two hearts now? <gasps> What's that? Oh my gosh, is it gonna eat me because I'm a chicken? Nope, I'm fine, it's fine. Apparently it doesn't wanna eat me. What is it? A sprout? What does it do? What are you? What can you give me? I kind of want to become a sprout now, but I feel bad killing it. Yeah, it just looked right into my soul with those adorable eyes and now I don't want to kill it. So let's get out of here before I change my mind. So health regen is off, which means I need to find some food. Otherwise, I'm actually going to die. I'm starting to get real hungry now. I might have to kill some of my chicken brethren in order to survive. I've had to resort to cannibalism. Don't worry, Barry, I'll make you into some nice chicken dippers. I know that's what you would have wanted. Right, okay. <gasps> Wait, what's this? A four leaf clover? What can I do with that? <gasps> I got some lapis! Sweet! Not really helpful right now, but good to know that four leaf clovers exist in this world and they do have magical properties. Are there any more? I'm like the perfect height to be able to find them. Wait, what did I just pick up? Wrapped candy? Oh, thank goodness! Finally, my prayers have been answered. I'll just eat this. Ah, it gave me speed. What was that? Why is there thunder but no rain? Oh my gosh, it's starting to get really dark. Okay, I think we gotta get underground. Is this underground? Yep, let's get this tree. All right, let's go. Uh-oh. See, Scott went in one of the chicken dungeons and bad things happened to him. That's why we should make friends with chickens instead of trying to fight them. They are stronger than they look. Oh, it's daytime. Well, I'd still like to go underground. This is probably not the best underground place to be. Ah. I'm now trapped. I think I'm just gonna die. No! That was dumb. I forgot that chickens aren't particularly good at flying. Dang it. Maybe being a chicken wasn't the smartest idea I've ever had. Oh no, now I've only got two hearts. Are you serious? Ugh. Well, I'm probably not gonna survive, but at least we can try and get some tools. So let's get my first ever crafting table of the series. Make my first ever pickaxe. It's a basic wooden pickaxe, unfortunately. And then let's immediately upgrade. 
two stone. Ta-da! Okay, look at us. We're moving forward. We're progressing faster than most human civilizations. And I love this mod that just chops the whole tree down. It's fantastic. My life is so much better now. And I'm gonna replant these trees because the environment is important. There. <gasps> Scott actually killed a rainbow chicken, what? Okay, so now that I have my stone tools, it's time for the next most important upgrade, which is upgrading my crafting table. So as you can see, this mod pack has a lot of cute variations for the crafting tables. Some of them are easier to get than others. For instance, we're probably not gonna be able to get this one today or this one, but maybe one of them is obtainable. Maybe just one of the colored ones, that would be cool. I'm gonna try and make a pink one for today. So let's look for some pink flowers. Oh no, it's another creepy spider. <gasps> oh, why is it attacking me? It's the middle of the day. Guys, what's going on? Why am I being attacked? <gasps> I'm so confused, what's happening? Why are they even out here in the daytime? Get a watch, man. You aren't supposed to come out until nighttime. Look at you, you're just burning the live. Oh well, at least now we have a bow. It's about to break, but at least we have a bow. And I actually got some bones, which means I can make some pink dye. So now we can make our lovely pink crafting table. <gasps> Cute! What an upgrade. See you later, old crafting table. I'm taking my nice new one. Ah, oh my god, it scared me. It's just a squid, man, calm down. Oh, this is perfect. I found a ravine and a nice open plains biome, which I might actually choose to build in. I love building in plains because you don't have to move all the trees out of the way. Why is that pumpkin floating? Oh no. Oh no. Yep, that's not a pumpkin. Uh, oh no. Okay, let's just move away at a slow but steady pace. Please leave me alone. Just eat the sprout instead. Why is it still following me? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to kill it. It won't stop following me. Oh no, I hit the sprout. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it hits so hard. Oh no. I don't think I can kill this thing with a stone sword. Ha, it's stuck. I really don't wanna die. Stupid pumpkin ghast is stuck on the farm. Oh, thank goodness. And all I got was a freaking pumpkin. But now I can become a pumpkin guest and probably terrify some people. Okay, I really need some food. Stop looking at me like that. <gasps> Whoa, there are so many chicken dungeons around here. There's a rainbow one and another robot one, but I can't go down there on one heart. I have an idea. Okay, let's make some torches and head into this cave where I might just live out the rest of my days hiding from the terrifying things that populate this world. Ooh, first I'm gonna grab this. So some of the ores actually do random things when you mine them and I'm terrified of that happening because I have one heart. So if it explodes or something, I will die. Oh, thank goodness. It was all real coal. I got really lucky. Oh no. I got unlucky because this isn't actually a cave. Right, I'm making a nice little home for myself in this cave so I can cook all of my food, but I still only have one heart. So I guess let's just gather some more resources. Please don't kill me. Oh my gosh. Yep, that's gonna kill me. Yep. Oh no, I've ruined my beautiful new home by spawning a John Cena. Maybe I can get him to fall down the hole? Oh, he's gonna kill me. He is gonna kill me. Come on, down the hole. Dang it, no! Okay, we're just gonna have to abandon this area close it off so that nobody can ever venture out there again and we should be safe from John Cena. Oh my gosh, he's actually still following me. I can hear him, he's coming for me. Oh, <gasps> I thought he was breaking through. Maybe I can kill him from here. I wonder if I would get his stuff if I kill him. That would be amazing. Ah! But it's gonna take forever to kill him. Look at his heart. Three days later. Okay, we're almost there. <gasps> He's almost dead. I wonder what we get. It better be something good. What? Nothing at all. I'm so unlucky. And now I'm scared to even mine this because I feel like another John Cena is gonna pop out, but I need the coal. 
Oh my gosh, this is so risky. Oh! No! I'm out of blocks. I don't have any blocks. Uh. Ah. Oh my gosh, stay away from me. Okay, you know what? You can just live here from now on. That's fine. I'm moving cave. I never really liked this place anyway. Oh dear, what are those? Mechanical octopi. Why is this happening to me? Why are there so many? Are they gonna kill me? They don't look particularly friendly. Look at all those hearts. <gasps> oh my gosh, what just happened? What just, oh, oh my gosh, it just, it just spawned loads. What the heck? No. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it's throwing at me. Whoa, I am definitely gonna die. I'm never going near them ever again. I think what we need to do is get some armor. So this ravine is looking like a really good idea around about now. So let's jump down. <gasps> I, I missed the water. So, all we need is some iron. Hopefully nothing bad pops out. Oh my gosh. I've never been so scared mining iron ore before. Let's get this smelting. <gasps> what the heck? Oh, no, there's an octopus up there. It found me. Why is it so strong and powerful and shooting baby octopuses at me? This biome is tainted. It's not safe. Maybe if I have armor, I can defend myself from this mechanical octopus. Oh my gosh, the octopus is down here now. I can't get to my furnace anymore. Wait, I have a plan. It might sound crazy, but I really want to get that furnace back. Here we go. Yes, I'm going to be extra cheeky and I'm actually going to use the furnace from here. This is probably going to be how I die. Good. Wait, what just happened to me? Oh my gosh, no, what, what? No, what's happening? The iron ore, it was corrupted, dang it. Oh, I've lost a bunch of hearts. Okay, I can't pick that up again or I will die. Okay, so that iron ore is the bad iron ore. Do not pick this one up. Let's just put it down a hole. This one is okay, right? No, it's not, this is the wrong one, no. Oh, I'm so sad. Okay, let's see if I can get back down there without dying. Where's the mechanical octopus? Oh, he's still there, don't worry. How am I gonna get to my stuff? Oh, oh my gosh, octopus is flying out of a ravine is not something I thought I would see today, but here we are. It looks like he could only do that attack every now and then. So if I go down now, I should be fine for like five seconds. Come on, shoot me with your baby. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I didn't think that would happen. I'm just gonna swim up slowly, very, very slowly. Okay, that didn't go exactly how I was hoping. We need to find a new way down the ravine because Daddy Octopus is guarding that way. Nice and safe. Don't wanna lose any extra hearts. Oh, make sure to avoid the octopus. Oh, oh my gosh, the dog, it just fell right in front of me. That was terrifying. Wait, it's not a dog. It's Ollie. <laughs> Did he follow me here? Why is he going so close to the octopus and why is it not attacking him? I'm getting out of here. I am not messing with that. Oh my gosh, he's trying to kill it and he just, oh, it spawned the babies. I'm getting out of here. Bye. Oh, he just died. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. <laughs> that was totally my fault. I blocked his way on purpose. I murdered Ollie. I told him not to mess with the mechanical octopus. And look what he did. Now he's just dead in a grave. And I guess that is his soul trapped on this earth because he wasn't good enough to go to heaven, which makes a lot of sense, honestly. Right, well, let's just get out of here. It was nice knowing you, Ollie. Okay, let's stay away from caves and mechanical octopi for now. Wait. I got just enough iron ingots now for an iron sword. I'm gonna be able to defend myself slightly better from now on. Oh my goodness, are these octopi everywhere? I'm gonna have to go for some leather armor. Oh look, Ollie's over there. I'm gonna disguise as a creepy spider. Oh, Ollie, I'm coming for ya. I'm just gonna watch him. <laughs> oh, he's just walked off. How is he so oblivious? Here I am. Ha ha! Ow, it's me, please stop. Once again, I find myself on the brink of death, just looking for somewhere nice to build. This looks nice. You know what? I think this place is a lovely place to build. Besides the neighbors, 
I think this place could be really nice. So I'm gonna do what every Minecrafter does and mark my territory with an ugly hut. Ta-da! And put all my stuff inside it, which isn't a lot of stuff to be honest. Oh, I should make a chest. So now that I've got my beautiful home, I think it's time that we take care of the neighbors. And I don't mean like doing the shopping for your elderly neighbors. I mean like killing the death octopus that lives next door. All I can do is put these little boots on and that is as well prepared as I'll ever be. And it's time to fight. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Well, it's too late now. Oh, oh no, he did his thing. I'm actually killing him. I'm actually doing it. No, never mind. I'm not doing it anymore. Oh my gosh, he's ruining the landscape with his water. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my gosh, he sent them to my house. Well, that could not have gone worse. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for episode one of Funcraft. Make sure to leave a like and comment what kind of house I should build. And I'll see you next time. Bye.